Hello, I'm your good friendly neighbor, Heisenberg. And welcome to the first December. That's right, every Sunday for the rest of December, I'm going to be putting out a new, uh, I don't know, review video, whatever you want to call this, and you're going to enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you guys have a, a very a, a fun time. Let's just, let's dig right into it. Ah, oh, Arthur. Brings back a lot of memories. Okay, not always good memories, but it brings back memories. See, when I was a kid, my dad refused to get cable, so the only children's channel we could even watch was PBS. And god damn if we didn't enjoy it. I mean, I watched shit like Zaboomafu, Cyber Chase, and hell, even Rough Roughman. I watched Rough Roughman. Nowadays, these shows may seem like complete and utter trash, but as a kid, they're pretty badass. I mean, who doesn't want a talking lemur? I know I do, but the real crown jewel of PBS had to have been Arthur. It was wholesome, the animation was alright, and best of all, it taught kids simple morals. That's why today, I'm going to be talking about my two least favorite episodes of Arthur. I picked these episodes because the moral makes no fucking sense. That's kind of fucked for a kid's show. Now, the first one is called Arthur's Big Hit, so let's just, let's just get right into it. Now, our episode starts out with DW doing what she always does being a total cunt. Now, now Arthur's just trying to put together this model plane he got, and he keeps coming in and just, just fucking shit up, right? Uh, Arthur, why is the plane already broken? Uh, Arthur, that was a dumb shit, but somehow it's your fault. <laughs> you may be saying, oh, Heisenberg, she's just a little girl. Come on, give her a break. She, she's a cunt. I hate her. Go tip that fedora somewhere else, Mr. Mr. Rick and Morty fan. All right, so Arthur spends a whole fucking week building this plane, like a whole, just, just a whole fucking montage of him doing it. And then when he's done, he's like, all right, I'm good. I'm done. I'm going to go with some fucking cookies, right? So he, so he walks out. Fucking DW decides she's going to solid snake herself into Arthur's room to fuck with his shit. But not only, not only does she fuck with Arthur's shit, she throws it out the fucking window. But not only does she throw it out the fucking window, she goes and bitches at Arthur because uh, that's a fly, Arthur. And when Arthur's sitting there, he's more in his fucking plane. He's just like, why did you do this to me, bitch? She keeps bitching at him. So Arthur, you know, he's just... He's gotta be a man about this, he's gotta fix this. And there's only one way to fix this. BE GONE, fuck! And you know, of course, because Arthur hit his little sister, he gets grounded. Oh, what the fuck about DW? We'll deal with what she did, but what you did is wrong too. Ah, bullshit. Arthur goes to school the next day and tells his friends about it. And of course all of them are just disgusted by Arthur's actions. How could you hit a little girl? Oh, she fucked up your shit? <laughs> Doesn't matter, Arthur. <laughs> yes. Then there's a fucking side plot where Binky has to hit Arthur, and then he hits Arthur, and that's supposed to uh, teach Arthur the lesson. Even though Arthur didn't do shit to Binky, but he thanks Binky. So overall, you know, the moral of this episode... Well, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, what's the moral? Is it, it don't hit your sister? Just get hit like a little bitch and thank the person that hits you? Fuck, sounds good to me. Well, that was Arthur's big hit. Time to move on to the last one, entitled DW's Very Bad Mood. So this episode starts off with a daydream. Arthur's just, you know, he's having a good time. His life is perfect. But some little cunt has to come fuck it up. You know, basically, this whole episode is DW being a cunt. I don't even have to narrate this one. The entire episode, she's just... Arthur, the cereal's not as good as I wanted it to be. Yeah, everybody sucks. Eh. So, and then Arthur's like telling his friends about it, and they're like, oh, well, Arthur, it's obviously your fault. DW did nothing wrong. So fucking Francine, the little, I, I, I don't know what the fuck she is, a bear? I, I don't know. Apparently Arthur's supposed to be an aardvark. That nigga doesn't look shit like an aardvark. Francine decides that they need to talk to DW to find out why she's acting like a cunt. And in the end, in the end, it's just because she's being... A shallow cunt. Oh, they didn't invite me to the birthday party. Oh, what was me? So, so, you know, instead, instead of Francine telling her, bitch, fucking nut, nut up, all right? You don't, you don't gotta be a fucking whiny little bitch. No, no, no. She goes and gets her ice cream and, and takes her to her birthday party. What fucking bullshit? Arthur gets his plane destroyed. She gets ice cream. Fuck him. Flawless! So I guess the moral of the story, kids, is that a woman can be a shallow cunt, bitch you about her being a shallow cunt, bitch you for doing something that you like, break something you worked hard on, bitch at you and tell you it's your fault, and finally, when you get fed up and hit her, you're the bad guy. What a fucking world. 